Okay, so Dial of Destiny. Yes, sir. If that, if you had it, yeah. Where would you go, and who, which cast member would you take with you? I have to take a cast member. You don't if you don't want to. No, no, yeah. Like, no. So now you said it. Uh, let me see. Um, it's very tricky to go on a, on a <laughs> adventure without uh, Indiana Jones, right? Mm. You've got to bring Harrison there. Genghis Khan. I really? Uh, yeah, I find it intriguing, the period. I find it intriguing. He got away with what he did, and in our eyes, we still kind of see him as a cool person with all the stuff he did. Is he cool? Uh, I'm not saying he is cool, but you ask a lot around you. People say, yeah, he was pretty yeah. cool. And it's like, that's insane. That's yeah. a good PR right there. I probably wouldn't go. I probably feel like if I went back in time there, I might get murdered. No, no, you're with me and Harrison. Oh, great, Chill done. Out. Okay, deal, I'll go. Um, so you play a lot of villains in franchises. Mm -hmm. um, how, what do you think about in order to kind of avoid bad guy cliches to make sure them all feel like different and real mm -hmm. to you? Well, the, the thing about that, there are bad guy cliches that we need in certain films, mm. in certain worlds. I mean, it is, I'm a Nazi in this one. The Nazis belong in an Indiana Jones film. Yeah. So that in itself is a cliche. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, should you find your own little twist on it, personalize it a little? Uh, that's basically what you can do, and if it's well written, you, you can lean up against the script, of course. And you've just got to expect that you're going to get punched in the face because you're a Nazi. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know if you knew this, and I didn't know, uh, but there is a special punch in Nazi in the face sound that is not, that doesn't go with anyone else. When he punches other people, it's just a punch. This one wow. has a crunch to it, oh. so the nose is going as well. I mean, not to swear, but there's a bit that happens at the beginning, and I don't know how you got out of it, to be honest. I thought that was it. I thought cameo. Yeah, I can take a punch. <laughs> You're also a former gymnast and dancer, so yeah. like, are you really into doing your own stunts? Oh, yeah. Okay, tell me about your stunts on this. Like. But that, I don't have that many. That annoys me a little. I mean, I remember I also when I did a Bond film, I was like, great, I'm going to jump from a, from a job where I'm going to use all my stunt skills. And then the most stunty thing I did was folding two aces in that film. It's rude. Right, it is rude. Uh, but I've done tons of stunt, uh, stunts in other films, so I don't have this much here. Uh, so I was a little envy looking at, I have henchmen doing the stuff. Yeah, exactly. But were there any mishaps? Mishaps? It's always mishaps, you always bruise up. If you do something 20, 30, 40 times, yeah. And you keep landing on the same album. Oh. Eventually, it's just going to be annoying. See, I'm used to I, I break something like every five years. I can't straighten his finger. That's not good. That's this and I've got a metal plate there. Yeah. I'd a be stunt used. is something you can do again and again. So that's just <laughs> yeah. an accident. That's just clumsiness. Yeah. Um, is there a special moment in the whole Indiana Jones franchise that you love, a line that you love, or like a scene that you just like, oh, this is indie? Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. First time I saw it, the first sequence for yes! 12 oh minutes. God. I don't think there's anything that comes close no. to that in the movie history. It's just It just takes us in there, and we don't even know what hit us. Uh, it's amazing. I forgot Alfred Molina was in it, and I was like, whoa, Alfred Molina. Yeah. And then you don't even see Indy until very late. That's like... It's brilliant. Ah, oh, creme de la creme. Um, final thing, do you have like a playlist when you do films? Is there like an indie playlist that you listen to before you go on set to pump up? No, <laughs> but obviously we all have the theme and we're guessing when it's going to be used could this be the moment could this be the moment and I, I must admit I do wear my character do wear a hat and he also comes in once in a while and casts a shade on something yeah. and I was like could it be here yeah. and then I realised I'm a Nazi how, not happen. how he keeps that hat on I have no idea he doesn't you know, but sometimes he's like got it on it's like this is a very fast moving train that would have been whipped off is that also the magic that it, it does happen a lot and, it, and it, it is super annoying because there's some takes that are crucial that we obviously we don't always do it in the right order so we know he's wearing the hat right after so now he has to keep it on in this moment and then we realise that's almost impossible yeah. to keep it on so that's a little uphill. This is like continuity people. Mm. They're the real heroes of films. Yeah, yeah, but then also <laughs> that we made the mistake of not just losing it in the beginning, right? Yeah, uh. yeah. Next one. But Indiana Jones and the Magical Hat. The Fedora, maybe. Mm. That's the next film. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you so much. It's been such a You're pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.